Unless you've been living under a big rock, you might know by now that Sir Alex Ferguson is not going to be part of Manchester United starting next season. His ambassadorial position at United is gone. He's not going to be an ambassador anymore. He's not going to represent the club anymore. Basically, he's fired by Sir Jim Ratcliffe to save money because apparently he's getting a lot of money and the club is trying to cut the cost. It was shocking this morning to read this kind of news. And I am a, an independent, if I can call myself, neutral fan. I'm not a Manchester United fan, but I'm a fan of football. How can anybody hate Sir Alex? He's a genius. He's a legend. A legend of football, not only a legend of Manchester United. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment down below if you want to help the channel. Only one click away, one second, and you're all set. This channel, we talk about football. We don't care about the team you support. We just talk about football. Give our opinion, our honest opinion. So This is your channel. It's not my channel. Get in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think about Sir Alex Ferguson getting sacked by Manchester United. The Athletic came with the news this morning. They said, In face-to-face -face meeting at Old Trafford, Sir Jim Ratcliffe told Sir Alex Ferguson that Manchester United are seeking to reduce costs and are not longer prepared to continue his payment. So he been paid 2.61 million per year for his position at Manchester United. And now they are trying to cut the cost. I also heard that they cut the, the cost of lunch, they cut the cost of some employees, a lot of cost being cut at Manchester United. For good or for bad, you decide, depending, for people who lost their jobs, who lost some privileges in the team, it's not a good news. But from business point of view, Manchester United are saving money. Now, from the fans' point of view, believe me, people will make noise because Manchester United are not winning on the pitch. As soon as Manchester United start winning trophies, nobody is going to care about who is in the office and who is not. This situation is worse at the moment because this is a legend. Manchester United legend, football legend, Premier League legend, Champions League legend, the entire world legend. And even though we don't really understand what his position is, ambassador to do what, to represent the club where, to go to games or give advice, we really don't know what kind of role he is there. But I've seen many Manchester United fans saying that he needs to step away. He needs to get away from this club because we can't live with nostalgia of Alex Ferguson era. You know, every manager that comes needs to have some kind of connection with Sir Alex. He advised the, the, the club to take David Moyes, Ole Gunnar Soshka. People are talking about Allegri potentially coming to Manchester United because of Fergie. Certain players in the team, Fergie influence. So many Manchester United fans want to get away from the Fergie era 
and start rebuilding the team according to the new generation. Because Fergie time, let's be honest, it's gone. The guy was a genius in his own time. Now we have technology, we have social media. It's not the same you used to manage 10 years ago. Today, you have to negotiate with the kid. Back in the day, if you don't listen to what Fergie says, you are out of the team, regardless of how big you are. He was the boss to decide who is coming in and who is going out. Today, you don't do that. Today, clubs are moving to the direction of you are the head coach, you are not the manager. You walk with the players that we will bring you. So it's completely different kind of era. So people can't really re, um, live in the shadow of Sir Alex Ferguson all the time. Manchester United Premier League losses at Old Trafford under Sir Alex Ferguson, 34. Manchester United Premier League losses at Old Trafford since Fergie retired, 34. That was a, an old statistics here to show you how Manchester United been very poor even at home. But it could be even more defeat now since this post was made by BR Football. Manchester United never finished outside top three in the Premier League under Sir Alex Ferguson. They had, uh, have not finished inside top three since he left. This also is a very old post. I'm just trying to find something positive to compare with the situation right now at Manchester United. But I think Jose Moreno finished second. So this post just give you an idea about what is happening, but not necessarily that is true. We are going to continue with some record here from the legend himself. He's a monster, man. This guy is generational manager. Look at how many uh, titles he won in Scotland and in England. Let's start by Scotland. Okay, so he played 456 games. He won 270. Three times league title, four times Scottish Cups, one time Scottish League Cup, one time ECWC, I don't even know what that means, some kind of European trophies or something. One time European Super Cup, the GOAT. Those are like very, very odd statistics, I think. We continue. Sir Alex Ferguson had negative net spend, spend from 2005 to when he retired. So he didn't spend any money. It was negative because probably they sold players and they didn't buy anybody expensive. So they found themselves in negative spending. In that period, he went to win five Premier Leagues, four Community Shield, two League Cups, which is the Carabao Cup today, one Club World Cup, one Champions League, and also reached two more Champions League finals. The problem people have right now is, why are you going to suck somebody like him who is on, let's say, two million a season, and you keep somebody like Ten Hag who is like on eight, ten million a season? And he's not doing better than Ferguson. Manchester United fans understand that Fergie need to get out. You know, we don't want to live in the shadow. And his recommendation since been very, very poor. But also, why are you keeping somebody like Eric Ten Hag that has horrible result? And that is the problem with United in general. It's not about sucking Fergie and saving money, but also why can't you just take the L, suck Eric Ten Hag 
and bring somebody who can win trophies for United. Well, to his credit, Eric Ten Hag is winning trophies, two trophies in two years. So that is not the problem. The problem is about the amount of money he spent on the market, the quality of players that he brought, and their position in the league and in, in Euro European competitions being very poor. So even if you win two domestic cups, it doesn't really reflect what Manchester United is all about. So you can read the record from Sir Alex yourself, just to give you an idea, because many of the posts here were made like a thousand years ago, but it just tells you what kind of a man he is, or he was as a manager. This is what I'm talking about. Rio Ferdinand just tweeted, and he said, if, Ch if Sir Alex can be taken out, then no one is safe at Manchester United. Anyone can get it now. Ineos sending a message to anyone at the club? Question mark. Only time would tell. And people will say if anybody anybody can, can get it right now, what about Eric Ten Hag? So you make it as you like, but if bad result continues with uh, this guy Ten Hag, I think he's going to be next on the list. So Ten Hag won trophies but hasn't really accomplished the style of football. The team, compared to the money that he spent, still very poor and the majority of United fans that I know want him out. So this is Ten Hag against Big Six away in the Premier League. Just to give you an idea how he been struggling beating big teams. He lost 6-3 against City, 1-1 against Chelsea, 3-2 against Arsenal, 7-0 loss against Liverpool, 2-2 against Spurs. That was 2022-2023. 2023-2024, 2-0 against uh, Tottenham Hotspur. He lost 3-1 against Arsenal. A draw against Liverpool, 0-0. 3-1 against Manchester City. He lost 4-3 loss against Chelsea. Seven losses, three draws, zero win. Three points taken from 30. You make your own conclusion. 